Okay, so uh, I want to do a video here. What you're looking at is a Tetramorium SPE Queen. And uh, if you notice, those eggs are off colored. They're, they're kind of like a brownish white. And uh, here's another Tetramorium Queen. And you can see her eggs are white. And uh, those brown, those brown ones are actually uh, ants and pupae form. So I actually caught this ant about two weeks before I caught this one, which is which I know for a fact is successfully reproducing uh, due to these uh, ants here, but. Um, so yeah, I got this ant, and uh, for the longest time she didn't do anything. And then a couple weeks later, I found the other ant, and within five days, that ant laid a whole bunch of white eggs. This ant did nothing, and then all of a sudden, this ant started laying these uh, off-colored eggs. And uh, she also took her wings off. Once she had a batch of, of these eggs, she took her wings off, and you'll notice that this ant here she still has her uh she still has her wings on and she's gotten stuck to this test tube so many times i've had to uh actually free her with a with a q-tip so this a this ant is actively caring caring for for uh for these brown eggs so i think that these eggs might be uh, infertile and that's why uh, that's why number one she she waited weeks before she laid any and uh, they're not the right color so you'll notice uh, her te see she has her she has them in her mouth now and uh, you'll notice that test tube it, that's got mold it's also uh, really small because uh, mm -hmm. What happened was uh, I caught a whole bunch of these and um, I didn't have test tubes for all of them. So uh, these are the only ones that made it. So what I'm going to do right now for this queen is I'm going to attach a proper test tube to her setup and uh, hopefully she'll move over there. And uh, I'm not going to post this video until I see what happens with these these brown eggs because she's caring, she's caring for them like... Uh, like they'd be ants, but uh, I don't know. They're they're definitely not the same color as all of these. This one had pure white eggs uh, the whole time. So uh, I'm gonna add on to this video and see whether she ends up eating all of them uh, or what happens. But uh, yeah, hopefully I can get her transferred into a new test tube. Okay, uh, here's an update on this Tetramorium infertile queen uh, I just moved her into this new test tube the other day um, when I moved her she had about four or five eggs uh, she lays completely white eggs now so now all her eggs look completely normal they look like any other uh, any other queen ant um, but they don't hatch. So, she usually has about four or five at a time, and then I guess she's eating them, and then laying another five or so, and then eating those, and then she's been doing that. I've had her for about three months now in a test tube setup. She always has eggs. She doesn't have any eggs right now. Uh, when I moved her, she had three or four eggs. I was trying to move move them with a toothpick. It's extremely difficult. I ended up smushing uh, most of them. I did get two or three of them uh, in there. Uh, I don't see any. So uh, I'm guessing she ate them. And actually, I don't even know what to do with this queen. I mean, I don't want to keep her forever. I, I Like, she could live for years. Uh, I fed her uh, sugar water three times. So between that and her eating her own eggs... I mean, I'm pretty sure she could stay alive 
indefinitely. So uh, I don't even know what to do with her. I mean, I don't know if I should put her outside. I'm pretty sure she would just die or get eaten by something. I don't know if I should dig a hole for her and let her live in a live in a hole. I don't know how long she could survive off just her uh, own eggs, but uh, I mean, right now it's almost winter, so I don't think I should let her. I'm probably gonna hibernate her, and then uh, in the springtime, I'm probably just gonna let her go and uh, leave her to her fate.